Hey, what's up guys and girls, this is Midori, and I'm back with another episode of Draw Up Midori. Now, today I'm working with Mads Mikkelsen's Cliff from Death Stranding, and I'm pretty excited to do this drawing because the game is so trippy when it comes to being very ambiguous on the story. The majority of people who've seen the, um, the trailer still have not known what's going on, um, but I still like the character design, so I decided to do this drawing today. Now, I'm drawing Cliff's character, so knowing Kojima, he likes a lot of soldier characters, and decided to do sort of a, not necessarily like um, Metal Gear Solid um, art director's style, but more of a abstract kind of style. So this style, again, is not going to have too much detail in it. It's going to be more abstract, more sketch, more like something like that you'll probably see on a storyboard or maybe a concept art so n nothing that's too finished or detailed now as always as you can see I'm still starting off with the mannequin perspective drawing so I just block out the shapes like a building block the torso um, the shoulder um, the hands and arm but overall I'm not going to focus on detail so even the gun that you see that I'm drawing now it's just going to be a large, like a large square, you know, so, and then I add little details here and there, but nothing too complicated or anything like that. Also, I'm going to be drawing the skull soldiers that's, that uh, Cliff's character controls in the game. So he's sort of like the opposite of Sam um, in the Death Stranding, but, um, you know, the whole theme of this game is connections and you can see that Cliff's character he's connected to these soldiers and he seems to be be able to have um, the power over them and I believe a lot of other characters like um, I think I think his name is Riggs or Biggs character no Higgs Higgs character is similar to um, Cliff's character in Death Stranding and you're gonna see it's gonna be really abstract and I'm going to be doing a lot of the soldiers in the background that's not gonna have too much detail now for a little backstory on Death Stranding. In the near future, mysterious explosions have rocked the earth, setting off a series of supernatural events known as the Death Stranding. With specter creatures plaguing the landscape and the planet on the verge of mass extinction, it's up to the Sam to journey across the ravaged wasteland and save mankind from impending annihilation. Now, in terms of the gameplay, as a delivery man, Sam, players traverse the world of Death Stranding while transporting a manner of things, sometimes even individuals. Carried cargo is wrapped in damaged sensor tape. The color of the tape changes according to the integrity level of the wrapped cargo. The amount of cargo Sam carries varies from a single back load to two handfuls, two shoulder loads, and a stack back load. Sam has several tools at his disposal to overcome environmental obstacles in the world, including a rope for climbing and descending high rock faces and ladder for crossing large open gaps. An unidentified baby he plays an integral role in the game and in conjunction with shoulder mounted mechanism arm provides the player a means of detecting beach things, BTs, that manifest in the world. Using stealth and a shoulder mounted mechanical arm, the player can circumvent BTs. Should the player be detected and eaten by BTs, they will trigger a void out and leave a persistent crater at the site of their demise. Hideo Kojima took an unconventional approach to the concept of life and death in Death Stranding and stated that death is about to have a new meaning. In Death Stranding, death does not mean a conventional game over, instead being an anagolist took the continue screen, never truly pulling players out of the game. When the player dies, they are transported outside Sam's body into an upside down world where they are free to explore and recover lost items. Furthermore, player determined changes to the game's world will be persistent, remaining present even after the player's death. Now, it seems that the game is gonna be very out of the box, but at the same time, from the gameplay, it seems like it's still feels sort of like Metal Gear Solid in a way, in terms of how Metal Gear Solid 5 was with the open world. Like you could just tell that, you know, there's still like a lot of influences from Metal Gear in this game. So, but overall, I'm still excited 
uh, to do this drawing. And, you know, I think as you can see, I'm pretty much finished. Like I told you before, it's pretty abstract. So just leaving a lot of things to the imagination and not putting too much details in it. The next drawing after this that I will be doing, it's going to be um, maybe another Fortnite or Godzilla, um, the movie that just recently came out. Okay, the drawing is coming to an end. Thank you guys and girls for joining me and you have a great day or a great night and I'll check you guys later. Midori out.